Joel singing slow jams. It's been a long, long 10, 11 days, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Living in this tent. We're just dumping some cards from last night. Getting ready to head up for the day. We gotta find a boar, man. We just cannot, for the life of us, find a find a big boar to go after. We've seen sows and cubs and you know immature younger boars. Seen a couple big ones, but just haven't been the right opportunity. So we're waiting. We're being patient. We got uh, five more days. So it's getting down, getting down to the wire. We uh, decided to head south a little ways from camp this morning, and we just, we're not even halfway to where we're at, where we're gonna go, and we just bear just come over the rise right here in front of us. We only gotta look at him for a second, so we're gonna try to catch up with him. He's moving pretty quick, but he's heading straight away from us. Get out, get down, get down. Way up the hillside. Oh, yeah, I see him. I see him. The bear's just right here. He's only a couple hundred yards. We gained some ground pretty quick. He's just going right up the hill, so we're going to try to get up there. Good shot. Good shot. Get on him. Get on him with the camera, guys. Get right down there. It's done. <sighs> oh my gosh. Dude, Good job, buddy. That was incredible. <laughs> Good job. I didn't, I mean, he couldn't have gotten any closer. Holy cow. <laughs> Nice. Oh, day 12. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Way to go. Good job, guys. We saw him coming out of the bushes. Well, we saw him go up into these bushes. And we got back and we called and called and called. And we heard him stand up. And I was like, I heard him stand up. And then he stayed there, stayed there, stayed there. And he wouldn't come until Cole finally did some growl noise. And he growled and he came out and he was curious. <laughs> and he came right in. He's done. Look at him. Just, I mean, he went. 100 yards maybe? No, he's 60 yards. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I can see what I thought was its back for a while. And then as soon as you went, oh, you went, oh, looked up. Yeah, I saw, I was like, I <laughs> From I my angle, like I could see your hat. 
So it was like, when the dark kind of lifted up, it was like, whoop. I was like, oh, <laughs> He's close. <laughs> He's close. 10.7 yards from you, about 12 from me. Close enough. Oh, that was crazy. I mean, it, yeah, it blew all the way through and back here. Just soaked. And there's just a crazy blood trail straight down the hill to where he's laying. That was awesome. Dang, those things are crazy. Buddy. Well done. Look at the size of that thing. This has been a crazy hunt for me. Nothing like it. I've never experienced anything like it. I mean, the patience, you know, it's kind of a slow, slow deal. You gotta wait for the bears to show up and wait for the bears to make the right move. And he did today. We literally got, you know, we were hiking to where we were gonna go and, and just set up the glass and we saw him, caught up with him and I ended up calling him out of the brush. He actually bedded down in this brush and we finally got him to, got him to come out. Look at those claws. <laughs> That's crazy. It's been 12 very long, very long days. Lots of glass and lots of time behind the glass, but not a terrible amount of hiking, you know? We're just trying to be patient. A lot of patience involved with brown bear. It's, it's, it, it could be the slowest hunt, and the next minute you have one of these things at 12 yards trying to run you over. I mean, I was literally like, what? Okay, like if I don't shoot him, <laughs> You're gonna have to shoot him with your gun. I just wanna make sure he's close uh, enough for you. Well, yeah, can't miss that shot. Oh man, this is cool. What an awesome experience, man. I appreciate it, guys. Kodiak Island is an extremely unforgiving place, one that tests mental toughness, patience, and drive. It is also a place that is home to one of the healthiest brown bear populations in the world. I am leaving humbled to have been able to partake in a small part of the conservation efforts being practiced on this island. By removing this mature boar, we are saving the lives of many cubs and potentially other subordinate male bears and ensuring a healthy population for the future.